What's up everybody? I hope y'all are having a wonderful day. I'm Anthony and today we are going to build a potato box. Now for the last couple years I've been putting my potatoes in the ground. I've actually been getting pretty good yields. However, I wanted to try putting them in a box or like a raised bed. Um, now I've seen different ways of doing it online. I've seen the potato boxes where you just basically keep adding on you know, levels to it uh, to make the you know the plants grow taller and I'm gonna do something similar to that but I'm gonna keep it more or less in a raised bed specifically dedicated to this so I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about when I build it but basically all we're doing is we're starting with four two by eights and one four by four All right, so I think I've settled on a four by four. This is big enough, it's gonna be 16 square feet. It'll be big enough for me to be able to put down quite a few potatoes. Now, the whole point of growing potatoes, and I wanted to go ahead and put this in here. Uh, potatoes, when you plant them, when you plant a seed, uh, I say seed, I mean a seed potato, one that's been sprouting eyes. Basically, whatever, what level you plant it at, you're not gonna get anything below that. Does that make sense? So, say here's your, your dirt. You plant the potato here. You're not going to get any potatoes below that original potato. It's only going to put potatoes above it. That's why they make you mound it. So if you're planting in the ground, you're obviously going to want to cut a trench, put the potato down, put a little bit of dirt over, and then as the plant starts growing, start throwing and hilling more dirt on it. The whole principle of a potato box is I can plant potatoes at this level right here. And when I plant them here, as that plant grows, I can start filling in more dirt. So then all of a sudden I'm at the top of my, my box here, and that's the top level of dirt. So you have this much space for potatoes to grow because potatoes are tubers. So all this level right here is gonna be full of potatoes. Now, growing a potato box, I can always add more sections on top and keep it going. And in theory, you're gonna get more potatoes the more sections you add. Now, I think that's a little bit, you know, overkill. I think, you know, 16 square feet is going to be plenty of potatoes for me and my wife. I don't want to get too many. But it's always good to know that you can. So I think I'm going to keep it here at right around 16 inches, 16 inches tall. Uh, that way I got a good 12 inches of tuber space. So I'm going to go ahead and screw this together, and we're going to take it over to the garden. All right, we're just about ready to be planted. I left the front off, that way you can see what I'm actually doing. But basically all I do is just put trenches in. Got four per foot, or sorry, one per foot, so four feet means four potatoes. And obviously same way this way. Now when you're planting your potatoes, you're gonna get a big one and you're gonna get a small one. Keep in mind, I'm talking about from a buying like a normal five pound bag of potatoes. When they start getting eyes, these things, that means they're ready to plant. So. When you see this side's got two, you can cut this potato in half and boom, you got two seed potatoes. You don't gotta throw this whole thing down there. When they're small like this, just throw this whole thing in there. This is your seed, basically. All you do, put it down like so. All right, now you're gonna lightly cover it with dirt, lightly, like this, okay? Hopefully you can see what the hell I'm doing. You're gonna lightly cover things up. Unless there's a frost coming. If there's a frost coming, you're gonna to wanna to completely cover it up. Now, what's gonna happen is this plant's gonna get about this tall. When it gets about this tall, you're gonna to wanna to throw more dirt on top of here. Throw more dirt on so just a little bit is sticking out the top. Same thing, when it gets five or six more inches, you put more dirt on top. And all of a sudden, you're gonna to get to the top of the box. When you get to the top of the box, you can't add any more dirt. Let the plant keep going until it flowers and dies back. When it dies back, boom, dig your potatoes. And you're gonna have this entire area full of potatoes. All right, so hopefully 
by doing this, I'll be able to help y'all out. Y'all can grow your own potatoes. It's really easy. Potatoes are one of those things that's almost impossible to screw up. You just have to make sure they're watered. So like I said, you want to take this potato, cut it in half, boom, that's two seeds. So uh, I'm also, I wanted to just give y'all a heads up. This is Yukon Gold Potatoes. These are my favorite because they make the best mashed potatoes. You can do this with red. You can do this with russet. You can get those purple ones offline. Doesn't matter. Same way happens. The only thing different is sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes are completely different. Uh, they're more of a vining plant. These are based on nightshades just like your uh, tomatoes and peppers. So I uh, hope you all learned something from this video. If you did, please give me that thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And I'll catch you all later, okay?